Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. I saw See How They Run back in August. I was really looking forward to this movie, but I was less disappointed. As we study the clues to this murder case, let's talk about how See How They Run could have been better. See How They Run arrived in theaters in 2022. A smash hit play is put to a halt when one of its actors is murdered right on the stage. Figuring out all the clues, Inspector Stoppard and Constable Stalker figure out all the evidence. You can never go wrong with a good murder mystery. Ever since I saw the movie poster and read who was in the film, I wanted to go see this film. Doing an excellent job with its comedy, it's the story that falls flat. Sam Rockwell and Saoirse Ronan made a successful and unexpected comedic team. They worked very well together, delivering the best of comedy. Rockwell has become one of my new favorite actors to binge all of his versatile roles. As Inspector Stoppard, Rockwell incorporated comical gimmicks, but his character was never fully explored. As for Ronan, I've only seen her in dramas. She is a natural at comedy. My favorite joke is Constable Stalker proclaiming a staged murder. Hopefully, this opens the door for more comedic roles for Ronan. The film incorporates memorable acting talents. Credits include Adrian Brody, Ruth Wilson, Reese Shearsmith, Harris Dickinson, David Oyelowo, Charlie Cooper, and a memorable appearance by Shirley Henderson. With all the actors, See How They Run never gives any of the characters much time to expand on their backstories. Attempting to do something different from other murder mysteries, the film heavily focuses on scenes between Rockwell and Ronan instead of the ensemble. It was a good idea, but despite the fun banter between the main characters, we needed a break from them. More scenes should have involved the ensemble, who were all terrific. Some appear in separate scenes, but they're not involved with the murder case until well into the climax. In my opinion, if this film was trying to change the dynamic of murder mysteries, then it should have focused more on Constable Stalker. Constable Stalker is easily the best character, becoming more confident in her journey as a detective. She's the only character who really had a story. I thought writers would divulge more into her life at one point, but they didn't. Acting aside, the editing for See How They Run was crafted well. Divided into split screens, the film cuts to different actions going on in the same scene. Totally appropriate for a murder mystery. The film noir style and classy locations were noteworthy. I thought that this film was going to take place in the theater for the entire duration. It is a significant location after all. Did the story really need to be extended over a course of a few days, or could it have just been one day? See how they run is an entertaining murder mystery, but somewhere it fell flat in its story execution. Tom George did a great job with his direction, especially with his actors, but it is not written strongly, becoming repetitive. We already get the dynamic between Inspector Stoppard and Constable Stalker. In my opinion, this film should have gone with the pathway they were indicating about who the murderer was. It would have made for a stronger revelation and a more compelling depiction of one of the main characters. I was not satisfied with the turnouts. I still recommend that you watch See How They Run. It is a fun murder mystery that will keep you laughing and guessing until the very end. Find it on HBO. If you saw this movie, what did you think of it? Can you believe that next week is December 1st? I have some festive movies planned for the 12 Days of Holiday Fest. First on my list is A Charlie Brown Christmas. 
like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.